Welcome to the first episode of Meet Your Destroyers. We're going to introduce you to the bumbling backbench and the fumbling frontbench of Alberta's socialist NDP government. We've got some doozies lined up for you from bonafide communists to anti-Semites. We're going to air all of the dirty laundry, the secrets the mainstream media simply doesn't want you to hear. Albertans like to kid about the NDP being a bunch of commies. It's an easy joke to make. They call everyone to the right of Obama a fascist after all. To be fair, the NDP introduced themselves to Alberta with an oil royalty review, a rate hike which would have further kneecapped an already crippled industry. Calling them communists gives us some relief. We think it's comedy, so we can sit back as we white knuckle it through their term. The problem is, well, it's not comedy. Let me introduce you to Rod Loyola, or Rodrigo Alonso Loyola Salas, his actual name. Loyola is a Chilean expat who was born during the Marxist presidency of Salvador Allende. I guess he came to Alberta to spread the teachings of Karl Marx. Now I have my hunches about the rest of the NDP caucus, but without a doubt, Comrade Loyola clocks in and out of the Alberta legislature every day as a communist. Loyola is not some socialist memester, some college kid with a poster of Castro in his bedroom at his mom's house. No, he's an actual communist, as in the real red deal, the full hammer and sickle situation. Loyola is so committed to the communist cause that he stood before crowds to praise the late Venezuelan strongman Hugo Chavez and his disastrous Bolivarian revolution that turned a rich country into a corrupt Marxist economic ruin. Check it out. Long live Hugo Chavez. Long live the values that he stood for. Compañero Presidente Hugo Chavez. Chavez ruthlessly persecuted any dissent against his revolution, drawing up laws stifling free speech that threatened journalists accused of media crimes with imprisonment. I imagine the whole rebel staff would have been locked up without a second thought. During his campaign, Loyola's campaign to run for the leadership of the NDP, Loyola sat down for an interview with the Alberta Teachers Association to talk about his education policies. But Loyola, of course, couldn't resist using the opportunity to talk about his plan for squeezing the oil companies. Check it out. Absolutely essential is making sure that oil royalties are a lot higher than what they actually are right now. And I would even say that we need to get them up to at least 30, 35 percent. Loyola's crusade against Alberta's energy sector, his support for a human rights abusing dictator, is nothing compared to his recent speech that he gave in front of an Edmonton rally of pro-Palestinian activists. They were gathered to protest the moving of the American embassy from Tel Aviv to the eternal capital of Israel in Jerusalem. Take a look at this from a video called Hands Off Jerusalem. I myself came to Canada as a refugee from Chile, from Latin America. And it's because of that past, because of that history, because I know my history, that I stand in solidarity with the Palestinian people. I want to draw reference to this sign behind me, that right here, this young, this young person. We don't need to be Muslim to stand up for Jerusalem. You need to be human. Just before he said that, he talked about standing up for indigenous rights. Apparently those don't apply if you're also Jewish. At what point do we call out anti-Semites for what they are? How can one deny the inherent Jewishness of Jerusalem and the sovereignty of a state born from the atrocities of the Holocaust and by extension their right to determine their own capital city. The way I see it, that's anti-Semitism, plain and simple. You can find this video and the following episodes as they come out at albertadestroyers.com. For the Rebel.media, this is Kian Bexty. Thanks for watching the first episode of our series on Alberta's Destroyers. This video was put together with files from Sheila Gunn-Reed's book, The Destroyers. Please be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell so that you know when we post the next video.